Hello, and welcome to Time Sticking. Today I will be going over the history of the Seiko Watch Company. For those of you who don't know, Seiko Holdings Corporation, or commonly known as Seiko, is a Japanese holding company that has subsidiaries, which manufactures and sells watches, clocks, electronic devices, semiconductors, jewelries, and optical products. The story of Seiko begins in 1881, when 21 year old Kentaro Hitori opened a watch and jewelry shop called Kei Hitori in Tokyo, Japan. Eleven years later, in 1892, he partnered with an engineer named Suruhiko Yoshikawa to set up the Seikosha Watch Factory and began to produce clocks under the name Seikosha, which in English roughly means House of Exquisite Workmanship. The Kei Hitori shop continued to grow in popularity, and another shop was opened near Ginzo, Tokyo. This shop opened in 1894 and had a clock on top of it, which was known as the Hattori Clock Tower. In 1921, the tower was demolished to rebuild a new one. The reconstruction was delayed due to the Great Kanto Earthquake in 1923. The new tower was completed in 1932 as the Kei Hattori building to pay homage to its predecessor. In 1895, the production of pocket watches began, and Seikosha released its first pocket watch called Timekeeper. The English name Timekeeper was a product of Hattori's shrewd business sense, as he realized that such a name would expand future export possibilities for the product. Following that trend, the company began to produce alarm clocks in 1899, which was followed by the introduction of table and musical clocks in 1902. At first, the need to import components meant the production was slow, just 30 to 50 pieces per day, and by 1913, its own enamel dials. Hattori quickly recognized the growing worldwide popularity of the wristwatch, and predicted the demand for wristwatches would shortly outpace that for pocket watches. Hence the debut of the Laurel in 1913, just 11 years after the first Hattori wall clocks. This new watch company was incorporated in 1917 and was named K Hattori & Co Ltd. The Great Kanto Earthquake struck in Japan in 1923, destroying the Sekosha factory and halting the production of timepieces. However, the determined Hattori decided to quickly rebuild Despite the massive costs, and only one year later, the world was introduced to the very first watch with the name Seiko on the dial, which means exquisite or success in Japanese, signifying Mr. Hitori's ideal to make the highest quality watch for the Japanese people, on par with their western counterparts. In 1933, Kentaro fell ill and passed away at the age of 73 with his family at his bedside. Following the death of his father, Genzo Hitori shifted the company's business model to allow private plants to develop and manufacture watches and clocks to be marketed by Kei Hattori & Co and carrying the Seiko name. In 1936, the company sold more than 2 million watches and clocks, nearly two-thirds of Japan's total production of watches and clocks. Following World War II, Seiko needed to build back up their pre-war output, which they did in 1953. They produced 2.4 million clocks and watches this year and made up to 54.3% of Japan's output. In 1956, Seiko released the Seiko Marvel, which is considered one of the most important timepieces ever released by Seiko, as it is the first Seiko watch whose movement was designed fully in-house and from scratch, not influenced by other watch movements made in Switzerland or elsewhere. By the end of the 1950s, Seiko had started to market watches in the United States as well as other countries. The watches were starting to become popular in other countries just at the right time, as new conveyor belt technology allowed them to produce 3 million watches per year. The first Grand Seiko was released in 1960. It was based on Seiko's previous high-end watch, Crown. This Grand Seiko has a 25 joule manual winding, 3180 caliber, and only 36,000 units were produced. This was the first chronometer grade watch manufactured in Japan, and was based on Seiko's own chronometer standard. Seiko 5 was created to be a watch whose performance would serve the demanding needs of the 1960s generation, who cared less for tradition but more about life. The watch has five key attributes. Automatic winding, day date displayed in a single window, which was rare at the time, water resistance, recessed crown at the four o'clock position, and a durable steel case and bracelet. The design language of the Grand Seiko was set in 1967 with the creation of Grand Seiko 44GS. The 44GS set the ground for all future Grand Seiko watches with nine elements. These elements help improve the legibility of the watch under different situations and create a sharp, crisp visualization. In 1968, Seiko introduced three 10-beat or 10 ticks per second calibers, the automatic caliber 61GS, the manual winding 45GS, and 19GS for women's watches. 
The 61GS was Japan's first automatic 10 beat, and it was the most accurate mechanical watch due to the high beat calibers. The calibers are considered high beat because normal mechanical movements beat 6 to 8 times per second, and a higher beat makes the watches more resistant to shock, thus achieving a high accuracy. On December 25, 1969, Seiko released the world's first quartz watch, the Seiko Quartz Astron, which at the time cost the same as a medium sized car. The watch uses a crystal oscillator for accuracy, where the crystal generates steady vibration when voltage is applied to it. During the 10 years of development at Soa Sakosha, Seiko managed to create many parts which enabled the viable application of quartz in wristwatches. For example, Seiko cut the crystal oscillator into the shape of a tuning fork and developed an integrated circuit and step motor to operate the signals from the crystal oscillator. Although creating the parts that enabled quartz watches, Seiko did not monopolize the patent rights for the unique pieces, but decided to open them. In 1973, Seiko announced the world's first LCD quartz watch with six-digit digital display. 1975 saw the launch of the world's first multifunction digital watch, the 0634. In 1978, Seiko released the twin quartz watch to address the impact of temperature on the frequency of the quartz crystal oscillator, which put a limitation on the accuracy of quartz watches. Seiko put a second crystal on the watch that is linked with a processor, which detects the change in temperature and signals the main oscillator to compensate. The result was a huge improvement in the watch's accuracy from 5 seconds per month to 5 seconds per year. During the 1980s, the company produced a notable range of digital synthesizers, such as the DS250, for use in electronic music. Today, the music division, part of Seiko Life Sports, produces metronomes and tuning devices. In 1983, the company changed its name to Hattori Seiko Co. Ltd. In 1985, Orion and Seiko established a joint factory. In 1988, Seiko combined automatic and electric watches, creating the Seiko Kinetic, the first watch in the world to generate its own electricity from the movement of the wearer. In 1990, the company changed its name again to Seiko Corporation. The 9F quartz movement is used in Grand Seiko quartz watches. It was released in 1993 and it still has no equal as of 2018. After reconstructing and creating its operating subsidiaries such as Seiko Watch Corporation and Seiko Clock Inc., it became a holding company in 2001 and would be renamed to Seiko Holdings Corporation on July 1, 2007. In 2005, the Seiko Spring Drive was announced. It was developed by Yoshikazu Akahani and his team and inspired by Yoshikazu's vision a watch wound by a mainspring and with one second a day accuracy, a precision that only the finest electronic watches could deliver. This movement achieved high accuracy with one second per day, a long 72 hour power reserve with its special developed alloy, fast winding with the magic lever design and glide motion movement with the watch hands. The movement uses a mainspring as a source of energy and transmits it through a gear train, just like a traditional mechanical watch, but instead of an escapement and a balance wheel, Seiko used the newly developed tri-synchro regulator, which acts like a quartz movement. The spring drive movement was also used as the basis for the first ever watch designed to be worn by an astronaut during a spacewalk and was aptly named the Seiko Spring Drive Spacewalk. On October 1st, 2009, Seiko Instruments became a wholly owned subsidiary of Seiko Holdings. Also in 2009, Seiko released the new 10B caliber 9S85, which is a completely new design of the previous high beat caliber. The new caliber also met the Grand Seiko standard, a chronometer certification which is more strict than the chronometer certificate in Switzerland. On Friday, January 10th, 2014, on the eve of the Australian Open in Melbourne, Shanghai Hattori, president of the Seiko Watch Corporation, presented to Novak Djokovic a Seiko 5 limited edition worth $1,700. It was launched worldwide with a million units, symbolizing Seiko's partnership with the world's number one professional tennis player. Seiko was also the official timekeeper of the North American Soccer League during the 2014 season. Seiko used to sponsor Honda F1. The Seiko name cannot be currently found on the Honda racing cars because Seiko Japan refused to be advertised whilst the name of tobacco companies are still appearing on the cars. They can, however, be found on the lollipop used in the pet lanes. Seiko has been the official timekeeper of many major sporting events including the Olympic Games in 1964, 1992, 1994, 1998, and 2002, as well as the FIFA World Cup in 1978, 1982, 1986, and 1990. Currently, Seiko has an agreement with the International Association of Athletics Federations to act as the timekeeper for the latest editions of the IAAF World Championships in Athletics. 
The agreement started in 1985 and is set to continue until at least 2019. The history of Seiko is full of innovation, perseverance, and timekeeping mastery. Starting from humble beginnings, Seiko has grown over the 100 plus years into the world famous brand you and I know them as today. And just as their motto states, Seiko is constantly moving ahead and touching hearts. Hello and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and check out our similar videos right here. If you want to stay up to date with the new and interesting content that we create, you can subscribe to our channel which is linked right here. And lastly, if you need any help with your watch, make sure to go to our Times Ticking website which is linked right here. See you next time!